Okay, this is a demonstration of the Smart Multifunction Valve 5U Pro, and it is to demonstrate the issue I'm having with my landing gear and the doors when the valve is operating in mode 2. Uh, this aircraft is currently configured with the landing gear out and the doors are stowed. Briefly, you can see here that valve 1 is illuminated and valve 4 is illuminated. Valve 1 is gear down, valve 4 is doors up, valve 3 is doors down, and valve 2 is doors up. You can see that I have 99 to 100 PSI. My GSF indicator is not flashing and I'm set for 50 PSI on my failsafe. So I'm going to go ahead and cycle the gear. Um, I will now cycle the gear up and you will see that the first thing that happens is valve 3 opens, then valve 2 opens, then valve 4 opens. Here we go. Valve 3, valve 2 putting the gear in the well, valve 4 shutting the doors. We'll now extend the gear. Again the sequence will repeat. Valve 3 opens, valve 1, gear is down, and then valve 4 doors are closed. You can see that I still have 83 PSI, so I'm well above my gear failsafe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gear up, and as soon as the gear is up, I will shut off the system, then I will pinch off the gear down line, which is this guy right here, and I will boot the system back up. Now when I shut off the system, you'll note, you will note that valve 2 will be illuminated, which it is now, and then valve 4. Okay, so that means the gear is up and the doors are closed. I am now going to reach in and I'm going to pinch off the gear down line. This will keep the gear from actually coming down and destroying my doors. Okay, now I'm going to shut the system off. I have shut it off. I am now putting my or I'm going to go ahead and leave my gear switch uh, on the transmitter in the up position. Actually, I'm just going to shut my transmitter off because it doesn't matter. This thing fails safe to the gear down. Now I will reach in and I will turn on the system and you will notice immediately valve 1 is going to illuminate and valve 4 will remain illuminated, which is to say gear down with valve 1 but doors up with valve 4. Here we go. Hopefully you can see it past my fingers. See that? So we left it with 2 and 4 with the gear up and now I've rebooted the system and valve number 1 immediately opens to put the gear down. But valve 4 did not open to open the doors first. So now the only thing I can do at this point is cycle this through manually. Now the doors are open. Now it's going to put the gear up or at least try to. And there we go. Now I'm back to normal mode. I can cycle again manually through and the gear should come out. Three are out and now the system is back to reset. If I shut power back off, turn power back on, everything is now reset and I'm back to normal operation via the transmitter which I will now turn on as soon as it locks in. I should be able to put the gear up just as soon as it locks in. There we go. And doors are open. Gear is up. Doors are down. Or doors are closed. Gear down. And doors closed. Now you'll notice I'm at 51 PSI. I will try again to put the gear up. Here we go. It does actually go. There goes the doors. Now the failsafe is going to kick in. And put the gear right back down again and close the doors. And I'm at 45 PSI. So everything works absolutely normally, except for when you first boot the system, it automatically opens up valve number one without opening up valve number four, thereby ripping your doors right off your airplane. Hope this makes sense.